Now, in August 2021, the United States withdrew the last of its troops from Afghanistan, ending its military presence after nearly 20 years. At the time, two suicide bombers and gunmen attacked crowds of Afghans flocking to Kabul's airport. A scene of desperation was transformed into one of horror in the waning days of airlift for those fleeing the Taliban takeover. Former U.S. Marine Sergeant Taylor Vargas Andrews testified to Congress about the attack and the pullout from Afghanistan. The former sergeant spoke about the stench of human flesh under a large plume of smoke as screams filled the space around Kabul's airport and also sobbed as he told lawmakers of being thwarted in an attempt to stop the single deadliest moment in the U.S. evacuation. The suicide bombing killed 170 Afghans, 13 U.S. servicemen and women. The withdrawal was a catastrophe in my opinion, and there was an inexcusable lack of accountability and negligence. Agas Andrews said Marines and others aiding in the evacuation operation were given descriptions of men believed to be plotting an attack before it occurred. He said him and others spotted two men matching these descriptions and behaving suspiciously and eventually had them in their rifle scopes. But they never received a response about whether to take action. No one was account no one was held accountable. No one was and no one is to this day. Retired Lieutenant Colonel Scott Mann from also testified before the House Foreign Affairs Committee. He said that the United States is building a nasty reputation of multi-generational systemic abandonment of allies. America is building a nasty reputation for multi-generational systemic abandonment of our allies that we leave as smoldering human wreckage from the mountain yards of Vietnam to the Kurds in Syria. Our veterans know something else that this committee might do well to consider. We might be done with Afghanistan, but it's not done with us. If we don't set politics aside and pursue accountability and lessons learned to address this grievous moral injury on our military community and right the wrongs that have been inflicted on our most at-risk Afghan allies, this colossal foreign policy failure will follow us home and ultimately draw us right back into the graveyard of empires where it all started. The U.S. exit from Afghanistan resulted in the Taliban regaining control of the country. It created a refugee crisis as many Afghans fled. It also raised fears that the terrorists might use Afghanistan as a safe haven and as was the case with Ayman Azwahiri, the Al-Qaeda leader who was found in the nation's capital, Kabul, and was killed in a U.S. drone strike. <laughs> <laughs> Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.